How the fuck can I be a local favorite when I'm 90 miles away? <laughs> Vermont, I guess. Right, that's still all... Everything in Vermont is local, I guess. That, <laughs> guess that's what the fuck it is. Um, I, my name's Kevin. Um, I'm a Taurus. Which means I hold grudges. Let's fucking go. Um, I've, I've been holding on to this grudge since the beginning of 2020. And... Uh, I paid off my student loans. No one else has paid off your fucking student loans? I am in a college town after all, so I guess that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I did, and I was happy about it. And I don't get happy about much, but I was happy about this. So like, I, I, I told a friend, and, and she's like, oh, must be nice. And I'm like, it, it, it did feel pretty nice until until you just told me, must be nice. <laughs> Fuck. I, I, can I not be happy? Is that the thing? <laughs> Does the universe just hate me that much when like, oh, Kevin's happy. Time to shit on him. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about it though. I'm like, in her situation, she's still paying her student loan. So I'm like, I guess if the, the situations were reversed and she had just paid off her student loans, I mean, I don't think I would... Uh, actually, yeah, I would have said must be nice. <laughs> I'm not going to fucking lie about that. That's, must, must be fucking nice. Um, let's see. Uh, I want to clear up a glaring misconception about me. I, I've had people tell me this, and I had someone tell me it again recently, and he's like, Kevin, I know, you hate people. First of all, I'm deeply offended by that. I, I don't want to, I don't hate people. If I hated people, there'd be no people, okay? <laughs> I, I, you know how Thanos, Thanos did like half the universe? I would have done the whole fucking thing. Uh, I don't hate people, I hate stupid people. It's a fucking difference. And I don't want to get rid of stupid people, I want to educate these stupid assholes. <laughs> and I'm not talking about, I need to, I'm clearing up a lot, okay? I heard someone <laughs> sigh here. I, I need to, I, look, I'm not talking about the people who can't help that, you know, that, that they're stupid. Like, that, that's a terrible way to say it. Like, like, if you have a fully functioning brain and, and, and have the capacity for common sense, but have no common sense, then I think you're fucking stupid. <laughs> like, anyone who thinks that humans and dinosaurs roam the earth at the same time. Those people, pretty fucking stupid. Those people think that the Flintstones was a documentary. Those people need to be beaten over the head with a fossil. Repeatedly. Anyway, stupid people like that, like more stupid people, like when I come out of the closet to somebody and someone tells me, oh my God, I'm so honored, fuck off. How dare you steal my moment and make it your moment? Sometimes I have to tell those people, April Fools. <laughs> yes, I know it's January. Still, April fucking Fools. It's, I was just kidding. Don't be honored anymore. Just, how can you be honored when you hear who somebody wants to have, the type of thing people want to have sex with? Like, if, what's, what, what the fuck is wrong with you when you're so goddamn happy about that? What, well, your life must be really fucked up <laughs> if you're just so honored that someone came out of the closet to you. I don't know. Um, maybe Burlington was the wrong place to talk about. <laughs> I don't fucking care, though. Anyway, another thing. Uh, more stupid people. Like, whoever the fuck thought it was a good idea to have a Sex in the City reboot <laughs> without Samantha? What the fuck are you thinking? And like people are saying, oh, the other three characters are much worse now. No, they were always that bad. <laughs> Samantha is like, what, Blanche Devereaux on steroids, right? It's just, yeah. So, did not mean for a Golden Girls reference there. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Um, yeah, I think, what the fuck? It's just fucking stupid. I, I, I watched, like, half of the first two episodes, but 
you know, when Samantha only shows up in a text message, I wouldn't, I wouldn't reply to Carrie either. Like, fuck that, no. These are spoiler alerts for the show, but you're welcome. <laughs> I don't care. Spoiler alerts. It's fine. As long as it's not a movie that came out six hours ago, you don't have to, you can spoil it all you want. Like, there are these idiots on TikTok who like to spoil movies. Like, you know, Spider-Man No Way Home came out, and three hours later, they're already telling us what happened. No one watches a movie that quickly. <laughs> and do we have to analyze every fucking scene, every fucking second of a goddamn movie trailer? No, we don't. <laughs> fucking stupid people all over the fucking place getting a lot more views on TikTok than I do. <laughs> Maybe it's just a jealousy thing. But they're still stupid. So fucking stupid. Who else is stupid? I think anybody um, is stupid uh, when, whenever I'm on Grindr and all I get from someone is a dick pic. What the fuck is the point of sending me a picture of the ugliest part of you? <laughs> Unless it's actually the prettiest part of you, then there's no way we're gonna meet in light, that's for sure. Like, maybe the, the lights are gonna be dim no matter what, so. Because I, I have no problem giving a blowjob in the dark. It's, it's fine. It's, I don't like to do it, I don't know. Anyway, I, I don't know what the fuck, I'm sure. People can agree with me on that, but yeah, it's, it's, it's what the fuck? I mean, honestly. Ah, oh, fucking stupid. Stupid people all over the fucking place. I, I, I've, I've mentioned it, you know, but like, um, I had, I, 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 I've started talking about being gay a lot more in the past couple of years, and um, I, I think one of the first time I, I did it was the open mic here, and uh, afterwards, you know, I'm, I'm talking to one of the comics after, afterwards, and I'm like, well, Kevin, that was so brave. What made you decide to come out of the closet tonight? And I'm like, well, I had a minute left of stage time. <laughs> so why the fuck not? <laughs> oh, let's see, what else? That's the thing, though. Like, it's hard to come out of the closet to people. It's difficult for me to say that. You know, even though I just fucking talked about it for 10 goddamn minutes on the stage here. But it's hard to like say those words. So like I try to say it differently sometimes and it doesn't usually work that well. Like I uh, recently tried to tell somebody, I just wanna let you know I'm not straight. And they're like, yeah, I know Kevin. You have scoliosis. Yeah, that's right. Fuck, I have scoliosis. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, fuck that. Ah, yeah, that's right. That's, I, I, that's right. I'm coming out of the closet as having scoliosis. That's what's happening here. Goddamn scoliosis. It's thrown me for a curve my entire life. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. I fucking hate puns, but, but, but scoliosis puns are completely acceptable to me. Especially the kind that get like a delayed reaction, groan, laughter thing. So that was really good. So thank you guys very much and have a great night.